Okay, so we know you, um, already a little bit about the lists and how they are working. Uh, let's try to build some uh, geometry. I will just, uh, okay, how to turn off uh, the geometry and the geometry, which is uh, already done. Uh, we just marked uh, the blocks which we want to um, turn off. Uh, click uh, in the not on the one of the blocks, but in the, to the empty space by the right button on the mouse. And then we have the hide all geometry preview. Then these blocks all are um, still working, but they are not visible. Um, what we want to make uh, it's a very basic. Uh, truss generator let's uh, start from the creating a point a base point of it uh, now let's make uh, three uh, code blocks with the uh, variables which are defining the position of the first uh, node um, sorry uh, one two and three Okay, this is the first point. Let's uh, copy paste and uh, create the second, uh, one. Let's make it uh, 20 meters uh, uh, far away from the previous one. Uh, let's uh, see uh, where did he run away. Let's go to geometry and see. Okay, it's over here. Uh, I changed the view to the um, uh, I changed the view um, for the background 3D preview navigation. Uh, double uh, click on the scroll and then he zoom out to the um, geometry which, uh, which is existing. Now I am turning uh, back to the uh, creating an algorithm and we see we have two points. Then uh, let's uh, use join to uh, connect these two points uh, into one list. Uh, this join is uh, putting uh, every geometry or the variables into the list. As you can see uh, right now, there is uh, I created a list with, um, with two points. And this uh, we will be right now operating on these two uh, points. Uh, it's just because it's uh, faster than moving uh, because we will be moving it up, and moving it by the one list is just faster than uh, repeating it uh, every time. So let's uh, use um, move. Uh, I type move, but uh, I will be using translate uh option we go with this uh, list to the geometry and then we want to lift up our two points up by uh for example uh six uh, uh by the value of six and then one more time we want to create uh, another um uh, geometry translation uh moving uh, tra translation then uh but this one let it be two Okay, so uh, yeah, we have uh, first basic points of the geometry which we want to create. Let's make uh, right now a line. Let's type line by start and point. Perfect, this is what I was looking for. Let's uh, click uh, as a start point the um, points which uh, are on the bottom and the geometry which are lift up uh, about uh, six meters uh, up. This will be our columns of the structure. Let's uh, double left click on the name and let's type here columns. Yes, perfect. Then uh, let's uh, copy it. And uh, this time, the geometry, which is on the level of six meters, let it be a start point. And the add point will be a geometry on the level of eight meters. And uh, let's change the name because uh, we don't we want to have a clear um, algorithm. Let's uh, call it truss columns uh, or maybe yeah, truss columns. Perfect. Uh, sorry. Uh, right now we need to, uh, to create a beams uh, between uh, the points which are on the level of six and eight. Uh, one more time, let's uh, uh, look for the line by start point and point. And right now, the question is how to get from this list, which uh, is gathering our two points. Um, the points on the left and right side to connect it to the start and end point. We can use code block. We can uh, use the code block and uh, 
uh, let's search for the element of the list with index 0 which is the point uh, uh, which is the first point and uh, another um, uh, element on the list the second element on the list with the index 1 which is the point on the right side so if we connect it we see that uh, we create a first uh, bottom beam and let's call it like that it's our cross bottom perfect then let's uh, copy paste it and uh, let's just connect it with the points which are on the top side of the uh, geometry which was created and let's change the name to the truss top beam uh, sometimes um, right now I will just say a trick uh, if uh, there is a lot of geometry created on the drawing and we don't see which node is uh, exactly which one then uh, I very often use the sphere by center point and radius and then uh, when I connect it I see exactly that it's like some kind of the highlight uh, of the geometry on which I am operating right now so we see that we were operating on this two we are creating line between these two spheres uh, okay uh, yeah let's uh, start uh, stop uh, right now here <laughs> 